everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury, and welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm doing today is what's gonna end up here. And today, I'm in Hershey, and I'm gonna go to the Hershey Story Museum. So let's go see what this is all about. Personalize your visit to the museum. So put, put the little wooden coin there. And talk English. <laughs> Pick a color. Let's do purple. Yeah, you knew. That was awesome. Confirm your choices. Okay, you're all set. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. His dad advised, do things in a big way. I mean, I prescribe to the theory, if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it right. So why not just do it big also? Makes sense to me. And on that fateful day, he chose chocolate. <laughs> How do you wrap a kiss? Well, I think we're going to find out. Look at this. There's all, it's all full of Hershey kisses. Activate. So they start over here and they go down that little spinny thing and end up getting sorted there. And then I guess these pistons push them into the wrapper. And they come out there. So this sign is teaching me during wartime, they stopped making kisses because they needed the aluminum or aluminum. But from the wrapper, they needed the, all that metal. And they couldn't make kisses because of that. Start with the cooling tunnel. And then let's put this little conveyor belt. Then, no, backwards. Depositor. And that has to deposit them onto this. And that goes to the cooling tunnel. Like there. Then the cooling tunnel. No. Oh wait. Cooling tunnel would then drop them here. Like that. And they would go to wrapping. And then the wrapping would then put them. Oh, I need another one of these. Into shipping. Okay, let's see if I did it. Oh no, I totally messed up. I totally let a stream of chocolate fall out of all of the machinery. I made a big mess. Step one, cocoa pot. Step two, roasting the beans. Step three, sugar. Step four, condensing milk and sugar. And step five, grinding the cocoa beans. I don't know if these are actually steps, but they're all parts of the process. And there's a grinder. I guess the beans go in there, and this rolls back and forth. Chocolate in there. Oh, that looks so good. It's not real, but it still looks good.
Jones' house. The top is Hershey Products, and the bottom, U.S. History. So, like in 1896, uh, it's the first time radiation is used to treat a cancer patient, and is when this Hershey Cocoa existed. What about this? Hershey Chewing Gum, 1915. And around the same time, World War I, U.S. entered the war against Germany. It's also around the time that Hellman mayonnaise, Lifesavers, and Oreos came into existence. Let's call this a significant year, 1985, for one reason. It is the year of Live Aid. Similarly, in 1983, they introduced ready-to-drink chocolate milk. What do you know? So Hershey set aside land for, the, for Hershey Park while he was building his factory in 1903. The courses are still challenged. The picnic areas, sports facilities, playgrounds, and a swimming pool. And then a convention hall and a sports arena. And look at the cute Hershey Park hat. Look how adorable that is. Hershey Junior College offered tuition free higher education for residents of Derry Township and employees of the Hershey Company from 1938 until 1965. Now we're gonna learn about Sugar Town. There's a, a Hershey Cuban Railway. And it was used for exporting the sugar. So lightning struck twice and he tried to build up this town in Cuba the same way he, he built up Hershey, Pennsylvania. So this big sign is about the process of making sugar. It goes from sugar cane, and it has like examples down here, like each step in the process. So each home in central Hershey, which is Cuba Hershey, had electricity, sewer service, running water, and space for a garden, and homes were arranged in a grid pattern along paved streets. And you could design a town here. So we have to pick one of these four pillars. So education, culture, children, or community. And we're gonna put it in culture. That was awesome. This is a great little museum and it really talks about the history of Hershey and how Milton Hershey really developed this chocolate empire. But 
it's it's so socially progressive. He didn't just you know have this idea and get rich and run away with the money. He built a town. He built two towns. He built a second town in Cuba around the sugar. So I he put so much money into schools and education and community. It was really great to learn all that all of those things about the history of Milton Hershey and about Hershey in general. This is a great place to visit. Very interesting. And if you want to know more about where your chocolate's coming from, this is a good place to start. So with that, I'm off and running and I will see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.